good morning, guys. How are you today? Good. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Well, first of all, thank you for this awesome show and congratulations on upcoming season four. I mean, this must feel fantastic. Yeah, we're re we're really proud of this season. Yeah, I think we, we we think it's our best one yet. For sure. Yeah, it definitely was. And 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 Miriam, let's start with you because I can't even imagine how much fun you're having playing somebody like Diana. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. She, she is wonderful. You're right. It, you should be. You should be jealous. She's wonderful. I, it's such a gift to get to play such a great character who is such a strong woman and then such a vulnerable and insecure woman simultaneously. So you know they the writing is so good it's so smart it's so fun it's just a, it's a um i it's i'm lucky that this i get to shoot this film with this character in new york city it's like dream come true yes yeah speaking of new york city i mean i don't no one knows it better than you darren i mean honestly how you know i, I don't even know what to say because i think i became a tv aholic because of you <laughs> and all of your shows and me watching them growing up i mean what is it what is your secret how do you get create such awesome characters you know, it's first of all, you got to have a great cast. And I, I really do get inspired by my cast. And I think on Younger, we have just a, an amazing cast. And it really, I, I think it inspires us to just sort of want to, you know, um, write more involving emotional stories because we know that they can, they can deliver. And, um, and I think the wonderful thing about TV, it's always talking about the world we're in right now. And I think Younger talks very much about our world today and reflects yeah. our world. You guys manage to do so much with that, the writers, too. They really bring in whatever's happening. And because we're dealing with, with books and pu the publishing world, you can really bring in any subject that the world is dealing with and, and talk about it. And they do it so smartly. It's so effortless. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, let's just face it, uh, the core of the whole show, I mean, obviously, when it started is about ageism and, and how, you know, as we get older, are we getting shut out by younger people that are coming in and you know Miriam I wanted to ask you I mean at least you're playing somebody you know closer to your age which yeah. is I think fabulous because yeah. I'm around the same age as you I'm gonna say Diana's uh, but, exactly but, my age <laughs> okay but but closer <clears throat> closer yeah. to like you're not no, playing somebody who's 25 no, no, she's 45 just you, like me ha, yeah okay so ha, have you experienced that in Hollywood the yeah. ageism and, and women absolutely from the moment I started uh, uh, working. I mean, you know, image is, is so much of, of a part of it, and, and sometimes it, it really, storytelling takes a backseat to image, which I, is perplexing to me. But yeah, absolutely from the get-go. I've always played, in my 20s, I was playing um, women who should have been in, in their late 30s and 40s. And um, yeah. which is absurd. <laughs> I mean, I'm a good actress. Okay, but um, you are. But, but no, there's need, no question no about need that. To cast a twenty-something in in the role that's really meant. I remember auditioning for something. The character was supposed to be forty, and they said no women over thirty-five should audition. <laughs> yeah. On the breakdown, that's... I thought this unapologetically ageist. Okay. Yeah. But it's never in reverse. Um, it, it does not yeah. tend to be in reverse. Although we do. In the work for this is what I like about the show is the show also explores this idea that we, um, someone like Diana would um, dismiss an idea from a younger person like Kelsey, a millennial, simply because of mm -hmm. her youth. That certainly right. happens yes. as well. That you yes. discount someone, a good idea because it's coming from someone who's just the wrong age, which is just a number you've assigned. You know, there's no reason that a good idea can't just be a good idea. Exactly. And, and, and Darren, for you, I mean, you know, what, what do you think it is about this show that has struck such a chord with viewers? I think, um, I think people relate to the idea that age, that they don't want age to define them. They don't want a number to define them. I think the show is also, um, you know, we have a, we have a fantastic cast. The show is, the show is funny. I think there's a, there is always a, um, a certain wish fulfillment level in terms of filming a show in New York. I love working in New York. I love filming in New York. And I think that um, New York comes across so beautifully on the screen. And I think there's something about getting to inhabit that New York world that I think is also really just, uh, that, that's just fun to watch. Yeah. Oh, no question. I mean, any chance I get, I'm I, New York is my first stop. Just love it. Love going there. And I love watching this because of that, especially and, and the amazing. And cast. we really filmed, um, we Mary... filmed in, in so many fantastic New York locations. Yeah. I mean, we discover that's part of the fun of doing the show for me is like discovering the places as we're as we're sort of like filming in them. And we really yeah. do sort of, like you know, explore New York and you're seeing 
parts of New York that you can, you know, this show is also just, uh, you know, like Sex and the City, this show is a love letter to New York City and Brooklyn. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Now, Miriam, before we wrap up, I have to ask you because you you started in your career on Off Broadway in Hedwig, which, oh God, what a great show. I saw it with Andrew Reynolds a couple of years ago. Yeah. Oh God, I mean, so awesome, such a great show. But did, have you ever talked to John Cameron Mitchell about maybe, oh, 20 years later, let's revive these characters no, and absolutely. see where we can go? Because I want to see you on Broadway. <laughs> Thank you, you and my parents. <laughs> um, I um, <laughs> Actually, I, I have been cast in a couple of Broadway shows, which then TV, um, took me away from. Now, you know, I had a, yeah. I was contractually obligated to to do a TV show. So, you know, I I'll get there. You know, I'll, I'll get there. It is it is something that all actors sort of of theater of the theater do aspire to. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just I just feel lucky at this point uh, to to get to have done Hedvig uh, and to to have been able to tell that story in both the off Broadway show and the movie. Um, but John, yeah. and I've definitely had conversation with John, and John is a storyteller, you know, and so, and yeah. that was such a seminal character, and I, I do, I, I know that it's percolating, that a, a story of where's Hedvig now in his brain, and we've talked about well, it. Well, good stuff. So I would like to see that good. too. Well, people, <laughs> fingers crossed. Uh, anyway, congratulations to the two of you and, and the rest of the cast on Younger. We see it here on the E! Network in Canada, and, um, awesome. you know, just just keep them coming. This The show right. is so fantastic. Well, I think season, and, uh, this is, as we've said, our best season yet. I think we're really excited for everybody to see uh, the episodes this season. For sure. And we love Canada. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. And we love having you and just come visit us. Uh, congratulations, you guys. Have okay. a great day and uh, great, great to talk to you Thank both. You.